We have the opportunity to make our great city an even better one. We have the opportunity to show the rest of the country that there are alternatives to sports owners who demand that cities finance their facilities for them. We have the opportunity to make available for our community as we begin a new century, the finest ballpark ever built. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Same, the same guy still there? Um, yeah, the same guy still there. When you go to spring training, it was like you were going back to college from a summer break and uh, just being around the guys and everybody fed off each other and, you know, we competed against each, each other in, in a good way. You know, everybody wanted to outdo each other, you know, just to keep the team rolling and uh, it, it was a magical season. The 2000 Giants were together again for the 10-year reunion of opening day 2000. You know, anytime you get a chance to, to kind of hang out with those guys and talk and find out how things are going and what they're up to and, and you know, uh, just all the good stuff, how the kids are and, and just being around them, it just, it brings back, it brings you back to that place you were in 2000. Oh, yeah. Hey, Allie, how, how'd we ever win any games with this group? Jeez. Hey, that's good. Everybody played well, bro. Hey, my horseshoe must have really been working that We had a horseshoe big time. And mirrors. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I mean, every day we had someone that, that did something amazing, you know, did something to contribute to the club. And that's basically what you want to do. You want to have, if, if one guy's not, you know, swinging the bat that particularly well, you know, that day, you know, he had somebody to pick him up. Holy cow. Feels like candlestick. They said, hey, you went from the fourth floor to the 115th. <laughs> it was easy to see why these memories are so vivid for members of the 2000 Giants. They gathered at a place which will always be thought of by them, Giants fans, and those who helped build it as more than a baseball park, even more than a home away from home. AT&T Park, or its original name, Pacific Bell Park, will serve as a lasting image ingrained in the life memories and life legacies of the individuals responsible for keeping baseball in the city by the bay.